Oh, man, that's all they did. Because I would have had to go over here. We didn't have to do that. There's a lot of time. As you can see, we almost got my first deer. It was literally right there, but it was on crazy alert. The minute I would have brought her up and drew, it would have been gone. And... They're not too comfortable with eating the corn here yet because I just started putting it out. So I think I'm gonna have to wait till they get a little more comfortable. Dang, man. That's progress though. That's progress. This is part of the journey, man. This is part of the journey. Yo, I, I felt my adrenaline pumping. If you got any advice what I should have did in that situation, did I handle it right? Uh, what I could have done differently? What do you suggest? Should I get the, should I draw and just went for it? I don't know. Like, let me know. Like, I'm still, like, this is my first ever hunt. So this is my first ever encounter with a deer hunting. So that was cool. Get back here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and hopefully Hopefully it lines up, man. But y'all know what's up. Keep shooting, y'all. It's go down. Alright y'all, so looks like they're leaving, they left. I shot and I missed, I think, I missed low. I definitely rushed it, I definitely rushed it, definitely rushed it. I, I didn't range them, I'm thinking, because I've ranged like pretty much like the area, like where 20 is, where 30 is. I, I felt like she was at the 20, but I think she was further than I thought. But I shot, they didn't. They like jumped up a little bit, but they didn't like run. Ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. It came exactly at 6.30. Oh man, I was so close, so close, so close. 
But I gotta be more patient. The first time I saw the deer, I was too patient. This time, I wasn't patient at all. They were chilling like, like the like the last time when they first came, and how that doe was just so alert. This time, it's almost like they got comfortable with the area, eating and stuff like that, and it was just chilling. So I drew back. It didn't move nothing. Did I mean it, it kept it was walking and eating, but it wasn't on crazy alert like before. I rushed it. But man, that, and this is what you learn from being out here. Man, I was so close. That was crazy. It's gonna happen, y'all. It's gonna happen. I was so close, so close. Uh, but I just, dang it, man, yo. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. And I don't think I spooked them too much because the arrow kind of hit the ground and jumped up. And they kind of like scattered a little bit, but they stayed in that area. We getting close, man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna get back out here tomorrow morning and see if I can get them early. But we'll see, man. Hey, this is a learning experience, man. I'm, I'm putting this out there for anybody that comes after me that's new to hunting, man. This is my first time out here. I missed. I didn't range it. I should have, but I'm just trying to hurry up and get the shot off. I, I, I learned from that. That wasn't, that wasn't the way to do it. Now I'm gonna regroup. They're not coming back for the night. <laughs> that's it. I think I know, I see both sides of the spectrum. Being too patient, and then I saw the side of rushing. So now I gotta find that that perfect medium. And I think I think I'll be able to get it done. My adrenaline was pumping. Um, I gotta check the camera. I don't feel like I was shaking before I shot. I don't know, cause it was just so much going on. It's tight in here, so it's like trying to get the right shot off. But yeah, we making progress. <laughs> we went from not taking a shot to taking a shot. So we gonna get back though. We gonna get back. You already know what it is. Keep shooting y'all. Um, this is a journey. We got a long season. The deer, I'm starting to learn their clock, which is crazy. <sighs> we getting close. We getting close. Keep shooting y'all.